Hi, my name is Rajiv Sakhuja. You may call me Raj. Thank you for showing interest in my course. After taking my course on development, many students requested for assistance with the setup of fabric infrastructure for their application. Now, if you have tried setting up the Hyperledger fabric infrastructure on your own, I'm pretty sure you would agree that it's not a straightforward task. It requires understanding of many concepts and fabrics components and tools. Learning curve for fabric infrastructure setup is extremely steep and it may take weeks or even months to become comfortable with setting up of the fabric infrastructure. And that is the reason I created this course with the objective to accelerate learning by carving out an optimal learning path to make it easy for students to design and set up fabric infrastructure. By end of this course, students should be able to design and set up fabric blockchain network for their applications. Here is how the course is organized. First, you will learn about all of the fabrics, core and tools, binaries that are essential for setting up the Hyperledger fabric infrastructure. Next, you will learn how to set up a fabric blockchain network by putting together the configuration file in YAML format that is needed by most binaries. Next, you will learn all about policies that are needed for enforcing the rules for a consortium driven blockchain network. Fourth, Fabric is a permission blockchain network on which identities are managed by way of certification authorities. You will learn how to set up Fabric Certification Authority and then you would use the Fabric Certification Authority tools for managing the identities on your network. Next, network configurations need to change over a period of time. Consortium driven blockchain networks are decentralized and hence changes made to the network are consensus driven. This consensus driven change process is complex and requires knowledge of tools and processes. So you will learn how to update the network configuration using a number of tools and simple scripts. Throughout the course, I'm using recipes to teach how tasks are carried out on Fabric. Learning is reinforced by exercises that students will need to carry out on their own. But nothing to worry, solutions are covered in the lectures as well. Last but not the least, Fabric may be hosted on bare metal, virtual machines, Docker, and cloud. By the end of this course, you will be in a position to install Fabric on all of these platforms. Hope to see you in the class. Happy learning, and once again, thank you for showing interest in my course on Fabric Network Design and Setup.